pick a winner from the last gift card giveaway. Red Tail Catfish Baby is going in. My God, monster! Fred, we rescued. He was our very first video ever. With okay, all right. All right. Charlie's enclosure. We are standing in front of our pond. If you missed that build, make sure you go check that out. This is our brand new 400 gallon DIY koi and goldfish pond doing great. That is not what today's video is about. Today's video, we are building our 50 gallon baby predator tank. And I am super excited for this build. It's long overdue. At the time these guys get into the 50, they're gonna need something bigger. So it's just gonna keep building, but they need to get in there. We have about three or four guys that have to go in there. We have an arowana that has to go in. We have a baby red tail who you haven't met yet. And we have a baby bass that you haven't met yet. All three of them are going in there and maybe a couple of others we don't know yet. But stay tuned through the whole build. It's gonna be really cool. Very simple, cheap build. We're gonna build a stand with it and everything. And we have a 50 gallon, so make sure you stay tuned. As always guys, make sure you subscribe hit that bell, follow along, so many cool things. We published a book recently, we have a donation page, a lot of cool things. Let's go build ourselves a baby predator tank. All right, so here we are. We are at the location where this is gonna be set up. Guys, don't mind the basement as, I know we always say that, but obviously it's a work in progress. Maybe not gonna be here long anyways, but we do what we can. So, we got our cinder blocks. We are going to make a cinder block and wood base. It's gonna be super simple. It is not gonna be high off the ground, just gonna be easier this way. Before we even get into that, I wanted to show you, because I've mentioned this before, super awesome decal we had personally made for us by my soon-to-be brother-in-law. I'm gonna put his Facebook link down below. If any of you guys need some work done, I mean, awesome, so awesome. So we're actually gonna put this right on the tank and it'll be really cool. So, to get started, we have our cinder blocks here and we are going to be lining them up. And again, like I said, this is not going to be very high off the ground. Um, it's really just to elevate it a little bit. So we're gonna go too high on both sides, and then we're gonna put just two in the middle as well, just to make it all even up. So there it is, super easy build. We got too high on the cinder blocks. Guys, these cinder blocks at Home Depot were $1.30, and then the wood we had laying around, and I love it. I just wanted it up a little bit so it's easier to see them, but I don't need anything fancy here. You can go ahead and build crazy good stands, and I love it if you guys do, it's really cool. Substrate is going in next. You guys, if you've watched our videos, you know we use this stuff all the time. I just love it. I love the look of it, and it's a really clean substrate. So it is pool filter sand. All the turtles have it in both tanks over there. So I figured it was the easiest one to do. You don't have to rinse this off at all. You can if you want to, but you really don't have to. It is like, what is it, like triple rinsed or something we read today? Mm -hmm. Something like that. So we are just gonna put this all in the bottom here. Um, I don't think these guys are gonna have much in here for plants at all, so not too worried about it. I wanna know, of all the tanks you guys have built out there, pools, ponds, tanks, whatever you got, what's your favorite, what's like your go-to substrate? Like your favorite, favorite substrate, whether it's for plants, for growing, or just for your tanks to keep them clean, whatever you guys like. I wanna know out there what your favorite one is. I think, it's probably one of my favorite just for many reasons. One, I really think it keeps things cleaner. I like the nice clean look of it. And super cheap, that entire bag was 11 bucks. A quick update while this is filling, as you can see, we got the light hung here. We got the uh, stand all set up and really, really cool. We got our decal put on. I think it looks awesome. I can't wait for this to be full of water with the light, with the uh, fish swimming behind, I think it's gonna look great. I also, for right now, we did an internal canister. We took this from the old koi pond actually and put it in here. So the media will already have some beneficial bacteria on it, which would be great. But I really like this. We might end up sticking with this, either that or we'll pull the canister filter from the tank that we are shutting down. So really cool, we're gonna let this fill. Another really cool thing we're gonna do, I want you guys to stay tuned for that. Because this is open and these fish are ones that will like to jump, we are gonna cut out pieces of glass that fit here perfectly and attach a little handle on it. Filter is on and running. That is a nice flow we got there. Look at the decal. That is super cool. All right, so Delilah is helping me today, but it has been about 24 hours and the water cycle has started. Most of the chlorine is out now at this process, but things are going well. 
Uh, we're gonna set up the inside soon, so we just wanna get some caves built, because a lot of these guys will like to hide. So we're gonna get that set up, but things are things are going well there. Wanted to show you something really quick, because I just thought it was really cool. It's something that's really fun being in the aquarium hobby. Something you can run into quite often is your fish can have babies. So in here, we have a lot of the crib and cis fish, and there are a lot of now mated pairs, and so they are having babies like crazy. So this clutch, there's like over a hundred of them, and I wanted a lot of them to survive. So we bought a little breeder box. It's super simple. I know you guys have probably seen these a million times, but they basically just suction cup on. It's all, all covered in net. And uh, you basically put the fry in here and let them grow. And it allows them to grow in the same aquarium water, but away from danger. Make sure you do have some sort of plan for what you will do with these fish, if that is to happen. Not only a place to have them grow, but what you're gonna do with them after. A lot of people don't know, and then you get stuck with a tank full of fish and nothing to do with them. So, you know, you can give them to local fish stores. Sometimes they'll even buy them from you. Um, you know, people are always looking. There's always groups on Facebook. So just make sure you always have a plan so you don't get stuck. All right, so we have the glass. We are cutting the tops for our tank over there. And real simple, guys, you get the glass at Home Depot. This whole sheet, I think, was like $13. And then you just need a little cutting kit. You can use whatever, but you need oil and some sort of glass cutter and then just a marker. All we're gonna do, make the line where it is, press across this, you're gonna lean it on the end of a table and you basically just hit on it and it's gonna, it's gonna snap. Guys, the Predator tank is done. Let's zoom in and take a look here. So really awesome setup here. I wanna go over a couple things that we did. So cool little cave that we set up just with some stuff that we had laying around and I actually love how it came out. It's got a little turn here so it's easier for whoever to get in. It's probably gonna be the red tail catfish, which I can't wait for you guys to see this baby but he'll probably go in there. We put some fake plants. I'm probably not gonna put real plants in here with these guys. They're too big and active, or they will grow bigger and active, and it's, it's just not worth it. They're just gonna pull them out anyway. So we went with the fake plants, and just a nice little centerpiece. We will probably fix this up a little as we go. We have our filter back here. It's an internal filter. It's a cascade. I really love it. I do recommend that. It will work great in here. One cool little thing, so we did cut our glass. If you guys wanna see that, I can always do that in another video where you can actually see it, but it's really simple. Um, it is pretty cool, and look, now you have nice tops over here so no one's gonna jump out. Um, we also did just glue a little handle right onto here. We just used uh, the hot glue gun, which I think was awesome. So that'll make it easier for feeding. And one of the other things, guys, so these baby predators, they are gonna grow very large. We love and support the aquarium hobbyists out there and you know, obviously it's what we do. Um, one of the big reasons why we get some of these fish that are gonna grow big is to help educate you guys out there. Because remember, when you take these in, they're really cute and cool as babies but they get large. If you guys can't support them when they get large, make sure don't get them. There are plenty of smaller fish that you can get. That's why we end up taking in a lot of our turtles and fish because some people get them and can't really house them once they're too large. So really cool. That is the tank. I'm excited. I just needed to heat up. The cycle is not gonna take long because everything in there was from an old tank. So there's all beneficial bacteria in there. So it's gonna be quick. But I mentioned this tank in the past. This is our guppies. These are our feeder guppies, which we've been feeding to the bass and to some of the other fish. But one of the coolest things I want you to see, I don't know if you can notice over there, but there are some brand new babies in there, like literally a day old, which is awesome. It means they are breeding in here, which is great. So we want them to continue to breed and get bigger so that we can feed them live fish, which is cool for feedings. And it's cool because look at this guy, which I know we haven't fully introduced yet. But this is our uh, smallmouth bass, and he is super cool, and he literally lets you pet him. All right, guys, so it has been about a week. Tank parameters are good. Temperature is great. It looks amazing. I'm so excited. I have some really cool news. We are actually, I wasn't going to, we're going to do a whole other video with putting all the baby predators in here, but just for fun, we decided we are going to put the baby red tail, who you have not met yet, we are going to put him in in this video. So make sure you stay tuned. We're just going to quickly do a good vibe shout out. We got to pick a winner from the last gift card giveaway. And then red tail catfish baby is going in. So without further ado, the winner from last episode's uh, gift card giveaway is Oscar Rodriguez. And I'm going to read his comment because he said, I would like to do a con like that. Loving the content. Dice. Dice was the magic word. So Oscar, congratulations. You are the winner. Make sure you reach out to us on one of our platforms. Now, good vibe shout out goes out to Carlos TSX, who said, fan since day one. Nice and short, I love it, that's awesome. Really glad you've been around since day one. It means the world to us, I promise you. Every one of you that have been around since the beginning or even just starting now, we appreciate it, we love it. Now, without further ado, let's go get this baby predator and put him in. 
first time petting the baby. Look at him. He's so cute. Look at the bass, guys. He lets you pet him. He's really cool. I can't wait. He's going in there too. But this guy, look at him. All right, let's get him over and in to your new home. All right, guys, look at our first baby predator going in their new tank. He is gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. This is our red tail catfish who is still a baby, but is already growing super quick. And you know, these guys get huge as, as you have seen if you followed our channel, Jeff. Dab Marino, who has been around for a long time following us. What's up, Dab? Actually on one of our live videos named him. So his name is Baby Yoda. So there will be a couple more predators going in this tank. Make sure as always guys, stay tuned because the next video we'll be putting the rest of them in there and we might spice up the tank a little bit more. As always, peace. Subscribe below, look at this guy, he wants to get. They always come over to us. We are walking to PetSmart. Very, very small fish. Excellent guys, Fred is in great shape. Clovis, say hi. Is doing so much better underneath.